video is going to be my long awaited for room tour. I am so ready to film this video. I have waited for so long to film this for you guys. I don't, I just haven't felt like my room has been like 100% complete and 100% like my style or like good enough for a video. Um, but I feel like it is now and I love my room. It's like my obsession. I have a little bit of a love for interior designing. I like do my whole room all the time. I rearrange my room all the time. I bet you in like two weeks my room's gonna look different right now and that's another reason I never film room tours. But I have been getting requests a ton lately ever since I put this bad boy back up and some other things in my room that I've shown like on my snapchat and stuff. So I finally decided to whip out the camera and give you guys a tour so I hope this fulfills your expectations and your needs and let's just get started with this room tour. When you look to your left from my door, this is right above my light switches, but this is just from Target. And it basically just holds all of my letters that I've gotten from working with companies and stuff like that. I also have special things like that little blue things from like Playlist Live and stuff. It just has stuff that I want to keep and I thought this would be a cute way to like keep it and kind of show it off the same way. Unpanning, this is just like a blank wall and you come into my room. So when you walk in my room, I'll go this way. I have this hanging on my wall. It was originally like a rust color. It's from Urban Outfitters and there's, there's like I think three or four colors but none of them are black. Um, and I wanted it black, so I spray painted it black. And yeah, it's just this little shelving kind of thing. I've had it for a while. And then I have these lights around it that my friend got me. I'm not really sure where you can get them. You can get them from like Amazon and Urban and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but in this, just on the top, I have a book that S um, book cutout thing. It's from a store near like in my town, but you can find them honestly anywhere. I want to say like Anthropology sells them too, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then the second little row has another book and then that mug is from Anthropology and I just have like fake sunflower. I have a lot of fake flowers in my room. And then that little clock is from TJ Maxx. And then down here I have like the Polaroid album that you can get from Urban. And then this candle that says good vibes that I've burned like all of, but I still keep it. And then this little tin that's from Target and it just holds all of my phone cases in it. I can't really show you, but it just holds all of my phone cases. This is my closet. I'm not going to go into. Um, above here, I think it's Letter and Sphere or something like that, but they actually sent this to me and I love it. It says Carp DM and it's like a little hanging banner kind of thing and I've had that up there for a while. So I guess I'll link that down below if I can find their link. It was kind of a while ago. But if you come over here, I have, I kind of like DIY'd this. Um, so I have a bunch of sunglasses and I never know how to like store them. So I took like, uh, I want to say it's called Twine. I don't know, like and yeah, I guess twine. It looks like that. And I just hung it in between two nails and I put up all my sunglasses. Um, and these are the ones like I don't really wear daily. Like obviously my daily ones are like in my bag or you know, all over the place basically. And then coming over here, I just have my yoga mat and then I have my nightstand which is from Target. On it, I have a diffuser and my phone. And then in here, I just have my laptop and my iPad. And then over here, I just have my Bluetooth speaker that I use on occasion. <laughs> I use it a lot, but I just keep it under here. And then the second bin is like my electronic bin. I just have all this, I have like coasters and like, um, you know, random stuff like my headphones, my charger case, my retainer, some lip balm, then I think that has like headphones and like SD cards in it. Um, but I forgot where this bin is from, I want to say like Target or something. That is my nightstand, then I'm sure you guys are all wondering where this is from. It's kind of like wrinkly because my pillows pull it down. It actually fell on me one night, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, this is from Urban Outfitters and it's just a tapestry and I hang it I hung it on my wall. If you're wondering, I know a lot of people like wonder how to hang it. You can use tacks, but I just put nails in my wall. I felt like it would last a little, or like hold a little bit better. So then coming down, my bed isn't really anything special. Like I don't have it set up very like pretty, but it's a bed and I'm, I swear to you, it's never made unless I'm like making a video. Um, but I just have an all white bed and like a huge pillow in the back, you know, like the ones that are like go all the way across. All of my stuff is from Target, like all the white stuff on my bed is from Target. Um, and then that pillow, I have no idea where it's from. And then this blanket is also from Target. It's like my favorite blanket ever. Um, and it matches my tapestry. So 
that's that and then coming over here so on this wall I have one of my clothing racks both of them are from Amazon and up here I just have this little mason jar thing that I actually painted white because it is like a wood color but you'll see later why I didn't want it to be wood because I'm very like matchy matchy when it comes to those kind of things and I didn't want like multiple wood finishes like in my room so I just painted it white with like the white that's on my wall like I just took that paint can and like roughly painted it white and I think it looks pretty good um and then on the mason jar little chalkboard labels it says Veni Vidi Visi and that means I came I saw I conquered it's one of my favorite little motto sayings things I love it and inside I just have a bunch of fake sunflowers and then the, I think there's one red flower in the middle and then coming down is my clothing rack this is all dresses and then I hang all my purses on them and then I have a hat up there and then going down I keep my shoes so I have my sandals and then like those van looking shoes Going to the middle this is my vanity and above here I have little mason jar not mason jar they're just like little jars and I have this in my last room tour like above my bed but I just keep it on like my curtain rod and then I have just a couple little flowers so it's not like empty it was empty for like a good like half of a year but I finally filled it with flowers a couple weeks ago coming back down this is my vanity it is broken as you can see about the drawer um I just keep all my makeup in there I guess I'll show you because everyone always wants a makeup collection and I'm never gonna do one because it's honestly boring and you'll understand later but yeah it's I don't know how I broke it but like it's like lopsided so basically my mirror I have no idea where I got it from um yeah honestly I don't know but over here I have this little container thing it's from the container store and I just have like my MAC lipsticks because that's like the most I have of a brand and I wanted to keep them together and then I don't know it's not even like it's my favorite products I just kind of like put random stuff in here I do use the highlighter a lot though but yeah and then in this little bowl I just have bobby pins and then this little jar is from Target and then these flowers are just fake obviously Coming over here, I have my makeup brushes and a bunch of Q-tips because I use them to, like, my eyeliner and all that. Um, and this little container is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Best thing ever because I always try and find, like, containers to hold my makeup brushes in, but they're always, like, too, like, high up and, like, my brushes, like, get eaten by it. So I was so happy when I found that. This candle I got as a gift, but I, I see them everywhere. Like I feel like Anthropology and like all those stores sell these candles and like little boutiques. But then this, don't know where I got the container once again, but it just has all my hair tie, twist tie things and all that. This blanket is from Target as well as the chair. Okay, so my makeup, um, yep, it just looks like this. All my containers are from Target and my hair curlers are, and brushes are over there. But this is all my makeup, and it's not that exciting, honestly. So now going to my other clothing rack. This is it's from Amazon once again. It's the same exact one. And this one has a backpack, another purse, another hat. This up here is from Target. Everything in my room is from Target, I swear. I'm so tired of saying Target. Um... Honestly, all the stuff on honestly all the stuff on this thing is like so cheesy and like unlike me, but it's good to have some like motivational things on your wall sometimes and I don't know, I was feeling it. So, yeah, comment below if I should add anything else cuz I don't know what to add to it and it has like a lot of empty spaces. Again, coming down, these are like my boots. So, I have my Birkenstocks and then just my like boots and all that on this side. And then coming over here, once again you guessed it target so i have so many of these like lush catalogs and it matches my room so i just keep them all in there uh and then that little thing's from brandy i have some of my favorite sunglasses and then like my key sunglasses that come with like the case i keep in here and then my polaroid two scrunchies a journal and then on the hooks i have my school backpack which i'm not using and if when school starts i'm obviously not gonna hang it on here because it'll be way too heavy but I'm just keeping that there for now. And then my other favorite backpack. Oh, that's from American Apparel, by the way. I don't know where that's from. And then my hat from Urban Outfitters that I rarely wear, but it's like my beach hat, you know? This shelf is like permanent on my wall and I absolutely hate it. Like when I was younger, I had my trophies on it, but it's like permanent. So I just keep shopping bags up there. Honestly, I never look up there, but it looks really ugly when it's empty. So I just put like shopping bags and it works kind of so this um it's from like a little boutique when i went to visit somewhere but you can get like a ton of these anywhere it's just like a polaroid picture hanger kind of thing and i just have a bunch of my 
favorite Polaroids on it. Now for my TV console, my record player totally does not match with it and it bothers me every single day, so don't mind that, okay? But it's just kind of like a wood, you know, kind of thing. I don't know where I got it from, but I just have my TV right there. And then in the middle, I have an incense burner and an incense stick in it that I had to like take out to film this video. And then I have, this is like my bracelets and like, you know, all that. And then this is a candle from Urban. And then these are all my incense that I keep in a mason jar. I have a lot, I know. And then this little thing from Urban just has all my rings and... Yeah, so my record player is from Urban Outfitters once again. Um, yeah, it's just, it actually, they don't sell it anymore, but they have other ones, but this color just isn't sold anymore. And it's like the, what is it called? Portable, like, suitcase one, as you can tell. So, yeah. Okay, so going to this one, I just, these are kind of like just random stuff. So it's not really anything that exciting. By the way, my least favorite part of this room is this t cord for my TV. I hate it so much and I don't know how to hide it. So SOS. Okay. So in this one, I just have like a little mirrored plate with all my perfumes on it. I have a mason jar with all my roller balls and like little sample ones. I have a candle holder with a candle in the back. And then I have this like what is it called like folder divider kind of thing and I just have like random old notebooks and then just random little things in it down here I'm dedicating this whole little thing for all my like records and so far I only have four and like my little stopper for it you know how there's like book stoppers or whatever like book you know I'm just using this little yin yang thing don't know where it's from I feel like it's from like home goods or something like that not home goods what is that called World Market. It's from World Market. That's where it's from. Um, so yeah, I just have that in here. Once again, only have four. So for these, um, these, these get a little intense sometimes, but this just has like all my hair stuff and like body, well no, it's mainly hair stuff and like scissors and lighters and stuff. This has my hair stuff and some duct tape. I don't know why I have duct tape. I always seem to need it though, but it literally just has like my extra hair stuff. And pencils and color pencils. Coming over here, I just have all of my books in the back just kind of lined together. And then in this mason jar, I have all of my stickers that, I don't know, I never do anything with my stickers. Like, I don't put it on my laptop. So all the stickers I ever get, I just put in here. And then I have a Kate Spade calendar and then this little notebook from Urban Outfitters. I have this candle from Urban. Um, and it's like a Zodiac candle. I really love it. And then down here, uh, I don't really feel like going through them. It just is like more just random stuff and I thought it would look kind of nice if I just had like storage because like from up here it like looks nice but then you realize there's a gap. But it just has like all my essential oils, um, candles, there's candles in one of them and then random stuff in another one and then I think, I can't, I feel like, I can't remember the other one but it's just, it's just random stuff. It's not worth your time. And then over here, I just have my purse. That's where I always keep it, honestly. Like, it's not just for this video. I always keep it right here. Um, and then up here, it's from Target. And I actually just got this, so I haven't really used it, um, honestly. So what I really want for this to be, I know I have, like, chalkboard, like, right over there. But I wanted this to be kind of, like, a video idea kind of thing. Just, like... Like, yeah, I could write it in my phone. I, like, write it in paper. But if it's on my wall and it's, like, right across from my bed, like, I'm going to be reminded to, like, be motivated and, like, film it. It's, like, a corkboard section. And I just, I do this thing where I keep all of my movie tickets I've ever, like, I probably, this is, like, a year's worth. I don't know why I do it, but I do it. So, I just, it used to be in that little, um, tin, but, like, you couldn't see them. So, I put them over here. And <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Then I just have this random Polaroid. I don't know it worked then this feather that's kind of special to me for a really odd reason and then that says something that's not for the internet um that sounded weird but it, it isn't and this little thing i don't know what i'm gonna keep in it but for now i just have like chalk for the thing and this i'm going to keep my keys on most likely um i don't know random stuff's gonna end up happening right there so yeah, once again, this was wood as well. Um, the same kind of wood as the mason jar, but I painted it white. It's like a, it's, I don't know, it looks kind of weird, but I just wanted to go for like a rough white look. I don't know, you can definitely tell it's like still wood. But I think it works. It doesn't look like the greatest, but I kind of like it. It's like a distressed kind of like, 
eh, look. So lastly, I'm almost done. I kind of DIY'd this. This was like a salt and pepper rack thing. I've had this forever. If I'm sure all my room tours are like privated because I'm annoying. But like I've had this honestly, like my, I feel like ever since the start of my YouTube channel, which was a long time ago. So I've had it forever. It just keeps all my nail polishes. Honestly, the only ones I use are down here. As you can tell, it's very messy. I don't really use the ones up there. Um, but, and then this, I just put hooks on. And then these are nails because I ran out of hooks. And I just keep all of my jewelry. I feel like it's a pretty good way to organize. have a hanging over the door mirror from Target. I hate it. I want like a like freestanding mirror, but... <laughs> I have such a tiny room as you can tell so uh, there's nowhere to put it so yeah that was basically it for my um my room so that was my room I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up I will have all my links down below like always my Instagram my Twitter my snapchat if you aren't already subscribed to this channel hello hi make sure to click the subscribe button down below and give it some love and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>